Got it. I don't have anything to prove in the way of kind of going, hey, let me get my hands on Ibsen and let me prove that I can do it in the way that a director of the, next, of the previous generation would have done it. I, I, I need to bring my breed of funk, my who, who I am, to it. And, and who I am is part of the kind of multiracial, multicultural <laughs> Britain and London of the 21st century. And you are returning to that London from I'm... Baltimore, where you've been running the theatre very successfully there. And you have done something to the makeup of the audiences there has been a larger proportion of the audiences who are non-white in a city which is actually predominantly, I think the 60% of the population in Baltimore is black. Yes. And that demographic of the audience has changed. Is that going to be a mission when you take up this new position next year at the Young Vic as artistic director? I think David has done that already. David Lanny. Uh, David Lanny, Lanny artistic artistic director. correct. He's done that already. One of the reasons I was really attracted to coming to the Young Vic was because of the demographic of the audience. And so I think my job will be to stand on the shoulders of greatness and just to continue that, but also to continually say to the demographics of London, this place is open for you. And how do I redefine it in my fashion will be my challenge. By bringing your funk. Well, by, yes, the technical term, that is. Of, of, uh, yeah, of bringing my brand of funk. And I mean, you, that's it. Yeah, and you talked about standing on the, the shoulder of, the, you know, the giant David Lan, and he yeah. has done great things. We're sitting here uh, with Eleanor Cook having an interview. We walked past a little meeting that possibly I may not, you know, I did see. <laughs> maybe I wasn't supposed to see it, but you were meeting David Lan next door. So that is an ongoing conversation. That he's passing the baton to you at yeah, the moment. we're kind of meeting a couple of times a week so that I can download, really, and that's very generous of him. We're different people, but we share commonality. And, and now, let me find the way to bring my brand of funk. What have you learned in Baltimore that you can bring back to London? I think that I've learned that the audience is God. And that one must listen to your audience, find where your audience is, meet them there, and then introduce some new magic. Interesting, the last time we spoke on this programme was here at the Donmar, we were talking about One Night in Miami, that play about yeah. the meeting of four powerful black men, Malcolm X, Cassius Clay, Jim Brown, the football player, yeah. and Sam Cooke, the singer. Yeah. Um, and it was very striking watching that play, the makeup of the audience, there were a lot of black faces in the Donmar yeah. the night I saw it, but that, to me, still seemed unusual. And that must be something that you wanting to change, isn't it? We all want the audiences to reflect who we are here and now. My sense is already we're seeing a new audience here at, at the Donmar in terms of younger people and people of colour. And I'm loving that young black women are coming up to me already and are saying, after seeing Nikki do this, the whole world has opened up for me. And that ultimately is why we're here, right? We're in the business of saying, I am here, but now you can get there and beyond. I'm, I'm loving that.